Hello everyone, this is Angie from The Comfort in Crocheting. Today I'm going to show you how to create this mosaic pattern. I'm not sure of the name, so I call it the Zig Pattern. Today you're going to need an 8mm crochet hook, which is going to be what I have here. It is a Susan Bates, so if you have one of these, grab it. If not, any 8mm crochet I'm sure will work. You will need a pair of scissors and you will need two different color yarns. I am using today the Studio Classics by Nicole in the color white. Color white and it is a four ply yarn. It calls for a 5.5 millimeter hook, but I am using an 8 millimeter for this panel blanket that I have created. You will also need a second color. I will be using red, also by Studio Classics by Nicole. No, I'm not sponsored by Studio Classics but I do love the yarn. It's reasonable, it's soft, and I use it in just about everything that I do. Well, that I crochet, should I say, not that I do. So, let me give you a little bit of insight about the mosaic crocheting that everyone seems to be so intimidated by. It's not that difficult. It's only a series of single crochets and double crochets. All your single crochets will be in the back loops. All your double crochets will be in the front loop of the row below. That is it. That is all there is to it about doing the mosaic stitches in this panel. So don't be frightened. Don't be afraid. Get in it. Have fun you'll find out how simple and easy it is. For the panel blanket that I created, there was a chain of 126, no, 123 chains. And I'm going to explain that 123 for you. For this mosaic pattern here, it consists of 12 stitches for repeat. So that means from one of these double crochets all the way over 11 stitches which will make 12 before you move do your repeat so that's all that means but let's get started and for the sake of this video I am only going to be chaining a chain of 27 which is 24 plus 3 so grab your hooks and let's do a slip knot. I wrap my yarn around. And I pull it through. There's my slip knot. Let's get some yarn here. Now I am going to chain 27. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, and twenty-seven. Okay, here's my chain of 27. You go on and do however many chains you want to do, a multiple of 12 plus 3. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to flip it over because I like using these little back humps. It just gives it a better look on the edges. So you're going to single crochet and each of those back loops across. So 
sometimes it's a little difficult to get these little back loops but trust me it's worth it I like it unless you know how to do also I think it's called the chain the chainless stitch or something like that I'm not quite sure but I think that's what it's called it's where you don't have to do your chain you can do your single crochets as you go I think it's no it's called a single foundation row so if you know how to do that that will work just as well but if you don't know how to do neither one or you don't like doing these little back humps you can always do your regular single crochet in the top of these little V's in your chain yeah those there those little thingies here but as you know as I said before I like doing them in the back hump so continue all the way until you get to the end and in your very last stitch or hump you continue to do your single crochet pause the video and come back when you're finished okay here I am at the very last hump I'm going to add my single crochet I'm going to yarn over pull up a loop and snip my yarn so I am at the end of that here is my single crochet row color two you're going to do your slip knot your slip knot and you're going to do a standing single crochet in the top here in the very first stitch so standing single crochet is you have your yarn on your hook you're going to insert it into your first stitch you have two hoops I like to grab my tail and pull it through here and hold it down yarn over and pull it through there is my standing single crochet now remember when I told you at the beginning all your single crochets were going to be in the back loops of your stitches the back loops are these back here Let me move this tail out your way these loops back here these ones are the front these are the back you will be going into the back of these loops all the way across all your single crochets will always be in your back loops so single crochet in your back loops all the way across to the end when you get to the end your very last single crochet will be a complete single crochet and it will go in the front and back loop so you will get both those loops and do your single crochet your last stitch and your first stitch are your border stitches so it is not part of the pattern it doesn't count as your 12 stitch repeat it is just simply to keep your your borders your sides straight as you go so it doesn't look all kind of wonky and crazy and everything but that's what it's for so never count it as part of your 12 repeat stitch count because that's not what it's there for it is just simply there to keep your sides straight and to keep everything looking nice and even so continue to the end and I will see you when you're done okay I'm at the end I'm putting my final single crochet in the end and remember to go through both loops and now you bind off oh another thing you should know before we go any further you will always work on the right side of your work you will never flip your work over and work on the wrong side every row is done from the right to the left so 
remember when you're snipping off you are starting your next color back at the beginning on the right side never the wrong side so let's go back with our color A or color 1 and we're going to do our slip knot this row here is going to be where the mosaic patterns start coming in at where you will be learning that 12 stitch repeat so do your standing single crochet in your first stitch you can leave your tail you can hide your tail as you go like I do it's your choice now to start this mosaic pattern we're going to do a single crochet into the first front loop from the row below which is going to be that stitch right there right here you're going to yarn over you're going to insert your hook underneath that loop and pull up a loop you have your three loops on your hook you're going to yarn over pull it through two you're going to yarn over and pull it through the last two and there you have your double crochet in the row below you will also hear me call it double crochet down that's all I mean so now you're going to do 11 single crochets in the back loops of the next 11 stitches so we got one we have two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven that eleven gave you twelve stitches there's your double crochet which is one and your eleven single double single crochets in the back loops so that is a re that is your repeat so now we will do another double crochet in the next row down in the front loop and we will do 11 single crochets in the back loops across that is your repeat and always skip the stitch behind that double crochet go to your next stitch over because the stitch behind that double crochet is the stitch for where it would go if you weren't doing it from a row below I guess you could say so remember to skip that but let's continue 11 single crochets in the back loop all the way over for 11 stitches depending on how many chains you made you will be continuing on with your stitches I've only did for the sake of this video 27 chains so I will be coming up on the end pretty soon let's see how many did I have here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. I'm at my last stitch. And remember the last stitch is always going to be a single crochet through both those loops. Now cut your yarn and let's go to color two. Color two, we are going to do our slip knot and we are going to join with a standing single crochet into your first stitch. Now for row two of the mosaic pattern, 
we are going to do a single crochet in the back loop of that double crochet that we finished that very first one we did on the row below all your double crochets are always going to end up being your 11th stitch after a double crochet down and I'll show you what I mean so what we're going to do is we're going to put a single crochet in the back loop there of that double crochet so we have our back loop and there's our single crochet so now here comes our repeat and this stitch here the first front loop after that double crochet down here we're going to put a double crochet now we're going to do 11 single crochets in the next 11 stitches in the back loops one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and remember eleven will land in the double crochet. So in that back loop of that double crochet, do your single crochet. To the left of that double crochet in that first little loop here, you will do your double crochet. Now you will repeat that pattern all the way to the end of the row. I will meet you when I get to my last stitch. Okay, here I am at my last stitch. I'm going to snip my yarn. Now, that is going to be your repeat for this zig pattern. On every row that you do, you're going to do 14 rows. 14 rows is going to have you carry each row. You're going to have a double crochet to the left as you go. All the way up, like here we go. 14 rows. We have the black, the teal, the black, the teal. And it's always landing on the left. So do your 14 rows. At the beginning, you have your first row that you did, your mosaic pattern. You put your double crochet in your first stitch. For your second row of it, you did a single crochet in the top of that double crochet, and then you did a double crochet in the first stitch to the left after. You will repeat that all the way to your 14th row. So your next row you will do your standing single crochet. You will do a single crochet in, in the back loop of the first single double crochet and in the back loop of that double crochet. And then you will do your double crochet down in the first loop to the left after the double crochet from the previous row. So you will repeat this all the way for 14 rows okay here's 14 rows as you see I changed the color of the yarn <laughs> you can probably see this better but here's your 14 rows your 14 rows you will have from the beginning going diagonal to your left your 14 does it all the way across and your ending 14th will end in your last stitch remember 
these do not count as part of your pattern. Your first and last stitch does not count as your pattern. So there's your 14th, which is the double crochet at the end of the row. So to continue, we have to have 24 rows. So how to begin this after you do your 14 rows where you end off and you did that last double crochet and you think you're lost, you don't know what to do. No, you just go back to the beginning for row 15 and you just start it all over again. You will take your slip knot on your hook. You will do your standing. Uh, I'm trying to get it so it's not blurry so you guys can see it really good. There we go. We're going to do your standing single crochet at the beginning. And you're going to do a double crochet in the first front loop from the previous row down. Well, the blue row, should I say, for me. And you just repeat it all over. You do your 11 single crochets in the back loop. And remember your 11th one is always going to end up on the top of the double crochets. So you can count along but your 11th single crochet should always land on that double crochet. And there it is. So now there's the repeat. You do your double crochet and you continue doing your single crochet to that double crochet here. Then you do your double crochet in that first front loop there and continue your pattern all the way across. Continue until you have 24 rows. That is how many rows I did in the panel on my panel blanket. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I will be more than happy to answer. If you got lost somewhere, Please let me know. If there's something I can do better in the video, let me know. But this is the zig pattern. So enjoy and please post up pictures. You can go to my YouTube. You can leave a picture message. Whatever you want to do. I would love to see you guys work. So enjoy. Ta-ta for now.